guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super pumped to be chatting all things drugstore. You know how much I love the drugstore. So I wanna do a full face of my current favorites. Some of these are brand new. Some of them are products you've heard me talk about 4,000 times over, so you know it's good. I also wanna show you my current curly hair routine with some products that I'm loving. I'm really excited that this video is sponsored by and in partnership with Nexus. They make affordable hair care, but it is salon quality. You're not losing out. And they just launched a curl defined line, which I was like, peak, I'm interested. I've been testing it out behind the scenes. So we're gonna jump in to my easy, 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 but effective curly hair routine, and then we'll get into the makeup. So let's get started. So firstly, I should also mention if you don't have curly hair or if you're curious to see what else Nexus has, they actually have a quiz online that will lead you to the collection that's best for you. I've actually now tried, I believe this is my third collection that I've tried from them. So no matter your hair type, if you have a more fine hair type, if you have straight hair, um, if you have curly hair, but you're looking for something a little bit different, I will link that quiz down below if you'd like to take it for yourself. And they actually do have a limited time offer extra kind of incentive to take the quiz is you have the opportunity to win the collection that is meant for you. So that's always super fun. I love a good online quiz. So I will link that down below. But for my hair, I'm going to be using the Curl Define collection. So starting out with my shampoo, I'm using the Nexus Curl Define Shampoo, and I really love this for a number of reasons, but firstly, you'll be happy to know it is sulfate-free, which I know my curly friends are always looking out for, but what I think is cool about this line is they actually did the research to determine what curly hair specifically needs, which makes complete sense, but it's something I never thought about, because curly hair is obviously made up of something different, it's built different, as the kids say, than straight hair, so there's a specific protein needs, and that's what they did here with this line, and speaking of curl patterns if you're curious I'm about a 3b 3c so what they determined in this line is that there's much richer building blocks in curly hair and it needs glycine and sereno amino acids more than other proteins that may show up in other hair lines that aren't built for curly hair so it specifically will supply your hair which with what it actually needs which I really love it's got Nexus's own strengthening protein fusion which is silk protein and marula oil, which is gonna help strengthen and moisturize your curls. Then onto conditioner, my favorite part. This is the Nexus Curl Define Conditioner. It also has the protein fusion, the silk protein, and the marula oil. This like melts into the hair. It has such a good texture. I actually, I'm not gonna lie, it's been, it's been a little while before I washed my hair, before I filmed this video, and I had some serious detangling to do, and it does like, when you wash this out of your hair, my hair feels so soft, it feels so good. You know when you like, when you can just tell that the conditioner did something, like it just feels so silky smooth when I'm washing it out, but uh, it does a really good job for it detangling too, which I really needed today. I think I just said the conditioner was my favorite, but this is actually my favorite. The Nexus Curl Define Leave-In Conditioner. The reason that I like this is I love a versatile product and like I've been using zero, like minimal to zero products sometimes when I get out of the shower. So this does a good job nourishing my hair, reducing the frizz. You'll see that I'm putting it in wet hair, which is what they recommend and what I recommend for any styling products. Um, this does a great job with like leaving my curls soft and defined, but no crunch and I kind of finger comb it through my hair on the days I'm using it as a wash day, or I will use it just kind of as like a refresher in between wash days. And it also comes in a gigantic tub, which like, if you have curly hair, you know you're never using the recommended size of product, so I'm always happy to be to uh, see a bunch of product that I can get my hands on to put in my hair. Cool, it makes it really, really simple and easy because I'm kind of lazy when it comes to my hair. And then today I did a combination of air drying and diffusing. If you'd like to check out the Nexus Curl Define collection for yourself, it is available in store and online at Shoppers Drug Mart. I will also have the quiz linked down below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. But now that my hair is done, let's get into the makeup. For my primer today, I'm gonna to be using the Burt's Bees Goodness Glows Primer Hydrating and Illuminating. This is a newer product. They launched a bunch of new stuff, um, and it kinda of has this sort of pearly look to it, but it rubs in. Don't be scared. <laughs> and um, I like it because it adds a little bit of glow, but it's not, it's got like a, a lotion-y texture that's not greasy. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This one really took me by surprise. I have a new shade that I want to try. When I reviewed it, I used 170, which was pretty good, but I'm going to try 200 today and see where we end up, but I love the formula of it. I just had never tried really their complexion products before, so I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but um, I ended up really liking it. I'm going to use a brush today. For no reason other than I forgot to wet a sponge. So that's what we're gonna do, baby. But yeah, I really like this. I think that it gives nice coverage 
It's pretty, um, like a natural matte, I would say. It says it's a hydrating foundation, but it doesn't have any claims of like glowiness. So just in case you were thinking it was glowy, but it's just like got, I think I said hyaluronic acid and aloe in it or something like that. This is definitely a better shade. It's also not super full coverage, so you could kind of get away with the other shade, but I think this is a better one. And I want to build up the coverage a little bit because I think I want to go a little colorful on the eyes. It's a rainy day here in Toronto, but I kind of like it because it feels springy. It feels like spring rain. For my concealer, this is not a new one, but I really love it. It's the Infallible Full Wear from L'Oreal. Pop that down, tap it out a little bit, and then I'll let it set. I'm gonna take this new cream blush too from Burt's Bees in Strawberry Cream. That's what they look like. And I'm gonna take this little stipple brush with it. I think that's gonna be, I feel like that's the best way to apply it. Add a little something. It's a really pretty color. It's different than what I normally go for. Actually, I'll add it out. I'll add it more after I tap it. Tap out this concealer. I've got a Zoom birthday party tonight that I'm going to, so I'm gonna leave this makeup on for it. <laughs> normally, actually, I don't even put on makeup anymore for Zoom, especially if it's like my close friends. Like, I'm not getting ready for you, but I'll do it tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna stipple on this blush. Are you still doing like Zoom B-days and stuff? Like, how's it going? I had my first Zoom birthday in January because I'm a January baby. I feel like it's best, like, um, I made us a little slideshow and we're gonna do a quiz about my friend who it's her birthday and stuff. It feels good to have like a little bit of structure because there's normally like seven of us on a call and you can't get anything done when there's seven people all talking. So, <laughs> I made a little PowerPoint quiz. I hadn't used PowerPoint in a hundred years. Okay, I'm gonna use the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder just under my eyes. And to set my face slash add a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. Still love this and I love it both as a powder foundation and as um, like a setting powder. Ongoing theme of, you know, the leave-in conditioner from Nexus and this. I love a double duty. I mean, like why not, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of the concealer on my eyes and I'll bring you in a little closer. For the eyeballs but i'm gonna be using this palette again i'm obsessed with it again I'm, i never was unobsessed with it i just stopped showing it to you because that's all it's all i talk about ever it's the nyx um, modern dreamers palette hmm i was gonna do a pink thing but now that i'm here i think i want to go either use that neon green that i love so much or the baby blue do i risk it and go baby blue are you saying yes i can't hear you Let's try it, you know? Let's do it. I'm gonna put down a little bit of the brown. And somebody had to say yes to that when I asked, so if it goes awry, it's on you and you'll have to um, confess in the comment section. <laughs> just adding some of the matte browns just to add a little bit of definition to my eye. I don't really want it to be like a brown look. Like I don't want it to have the look of brown. I'm just trying to like Eyes are so dry, I think it just flaked off into my eyebrow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I don't want it to have the look of brown necessarily, I just want to add a little bit of definition. Almost like how I use lip liner. Also, I had to set up Rue here next to me on the chair because she was being needy baby. And she's snoring. So I'm going to take this baby blue. Baby. Baby, baby blue. Like it's a, it's like one of those colors that I'm like, it's a beautiful shade, but it, will it be nice on me, you know? You just have that thing about blue eyeshadow and, you know, you know, like when you think about blue eyeshadow, it's just like, it's been done wrong so, so many times that it's a little scary. I'm gonna bring it up quite high, mostly using my fingers. I'll go in with a brush momentarily. But like now is the time to play with color. This is also the kind of thing that when you get mascara and liner on, it'll come together. Cause I'm starting to panic, <laughs> but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. For mascara, it's like kind of a new one, but not like an old twist, a new twist on an old favorite. The Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift mascara I really love, but they came out with the Ultra Black. Ultra Black. And I love this mascara. I haven't been using it much recently just because, um, I was like trying new ones, but I got this fresh tube and it's become a current favorite again. She's back. 
And just because I'm going to top it off with a little Maybelline Lash Sensational. Just because with all this blue, I really want my lashes to pop. On to bronzer. As you can see, this is well loved. I used this as a palette for something, but it is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Uh, it's just a face powder, but I love it as a bronzer. I used this nonstop as a bronzer, probably in last year, aka 2019. I saw this meme the other day. It was like, when I say last year, I either mean 2019 or, yeah, I, I always mean 2019, but then there was another one. It was like, when I say 10 years ago, I either mean, what was it? Like, oh my God, it was something funny. <laughs> it was funny, I swear. You know I posted on Instagram stories. For blush, to kind of mix it up and sort of match it to that other blush, the cheek, the cheek blush, the cream blush I put down, this is <laughs> NYX Totally Chill Powder Blush. But it might look nice with this blue. Something peachy would be nice as well, but you've seen me wear enough peach blushes. I was actually shopping the other day and I want to buy some new blushes, but there's so many cream blushes, but not a lot of powder blushes being launched. For highlighter, one of my favorites that's a super bright highlighter, this is a Physic Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Champagne. These are so pretty. And they highlight all my pimples because I get pimples exactly where I try to highlight. It's a cruel world. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways. Now I'm not sure about this lip because I would maybe go a little bit more true beige than peachy beige with blue. This was gonna go with the pink eye. Like a pink eyeshadow. <laughs> I think that works and I'm gonna stick with it because every time I change my lip in a video, I get comments being like, no! So, hopefully it's okay. Hopefully this is not the one time I should have changed it. I didn't even tell you what it was. I love these a lot. The Rimmel Stay Satins um, and this is in the shade Shoulder Pads. So here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the Nexus Curl Define Collection in store and online at Shoppers Drug Mart. I'll have it linked down below along with their quiz and be sure to let me know what results you end up with. Shoot me a DM or comment down below um, on what collection you landed on. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!